everyone, this is Carla, and I have great news. I passed my tape test. So I was telling you how I'm now back in Cleveland, and I've been back in Cleveland for eight and a half months since September 1st, 2018. And I'm also working with the Work First Development people in Cleveland, Ohio, not just in D.C. And I had to take the TAPE test that two weeks ago, I didn't even know it existed. And TAPE stands for a test for adult basic education. And I didn't know it existed because when you graduate from high school, you don't have to take a battery test. But I learned from someone that in like the TAPE test has been around for a while. And when she was at community college in the nineties that she had to take the TAPE test. So I took it and I'm very happy to announce that I scored 12.9 plus, meaning that the definition of that is a grade equivalent star reading level of 12.9 plus means that the student is reading above the level of a high school senior at the end of their senior year. So I'm reading because there's nine months to a uh, a uh, a season like every year every school year is nine months so the 12.9 plus means that i'm reading and doing math at a high school graduate level which is great so i had nearly two weeks to prepare i'm very thankful that my employment specialist gave me online practice tests but i found some additional practice tests which i did take all the way up until a Sunday and it really helped me pace myself of uh, know what to prepare for because in my final practice exam I I got some old weird reading questions so it, I'm glad I got it into practice so I would know how to deal with it because I'm a very logical person so I don't do well with the with the weird you know hypothetical abstract you know, reading passages, for instance, I got one that they were talking about like Aristotle or something and vegetative, like a veg, like wildlife or plants, animals and humans all share like vegetative and animal. Did I don't do well with that, but I passed it. That means I qualify for way more stuff. I'm very happy about that. I had to take the of math as well as two parts of the math i had to take the math which is applied math math computation and then i had to take reading there's also a language so there's four parts to the test i thought that i would be finishing in 90 minutes i got there at 12 o'clock for 12 30 i did not leave the 249 i didn't think it would take that long but what i didn't thank you thank you andrea i did not know that I had to take a pretest, and no one told me about this. So what I learned was that I had to take a pretest, and then that would determine which booklet you got. So for TAPE, there's four booklets. There's an e-booklet, which I believe is entry level. There is an M level, and which is like medium, and then you have D, which is difficult, and then you have advanced. There are levels. And so you have the easy, medium, difficult, and advanced. And so I'm initially saying that I just hope I score a little bit lower to get the easy to get the easy one. That's my but I convinced myself, I said, you know something? I'm not gonna dumb myself down for the practice test because it can spill over to the real test. I actually ended up getting the advanced booklet, which is the most difficult test for all of them. So as I mentioned, there were four parts. There's the reading, the applied math, math computational, and then language. And I had to take through them. I didn't have to take the language. So I, I had advanced for all three. It is possible that you can have four different booklets for each part of the test. And some of the test takers there actually have more than one. But I think I may have been the only person or someone else. I knew that I saw another advance. But I was I I had advanced for all three. The whole booklet was all advanced for me, and I'm very happy that I passed it. As you know, I qualify for more um, opportunities. And what I also thought was cool was when I went on YouTube and I looked at like tape testimonies and tape test experience. One of the two I found was this 53 year old 
lady who took the tape test, she passed it and she was going for her CDL license. So one of the test takers in my room was taking the tape for the CDL too. So I thought that was pretty cool that, you know, that, that I knew what the tape test was about and had a familiarity of like different occupations and what people were using. So that's, I, I passed it. I'm very happy. I'm happy it's over because now I'm going to be studying other stuff, but yeah, I I just, I'm, I passed it. So I'm very, very happy about it. It opens the doors and to a lot of other things and I'm looking forward to uh, more workforce development opportunities. And as always, everyone, I'll keep you posted on what happens. And I would like to thank Deborah, Denise, and Andrea for coming and watching me live. I greatly appreciate you three. And I'll see everybody in the next live stream. Goodbye.